guys, it's Lair, and today I'm going to be doing another writing vlog. The last one was a lot more popular than I thought it was going to be, so I thought I'd do another one and see how it goes. Basically, I just talk about my writing process currently and what's wrong, what's going right, and hopefully you guys will like it. And if you do, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Recently, I've been basically focusing all my attention on finishing my NaNoWriMo outline. It's been really difficult for me because... This outline has just been, <laughs> it's been way too difficult. I have been, I've been struggling with characters, with plot holes, and the whole, like, all of the main character's backstory is just, like, really, like, overly complicated, I think, right now. So it's just made it really hard for me to kind of organize all my thoughts and ideas. It seems like every time I have a quiet moment to think about my book, another thing comes out at me about the main character that I have to add in the, her backstory, and her backstory is just getting, like, bigger and bigger. And her backstory isn't, like, the main point of the book. So I'm having a hard time, like, balancing backstory that's really important, but also, like, the main plot, which is, like, why everybody would read it. Also, this is pretty normal for me. I don't have any names for the main characters besides her and her sister. Uh, that's pretty normal for me. It takes me a long time to think of character names. That's why I have, a, like, a go-to list for character names that I just, like, like, I have, like, titles or names that I just put in for filler and then I change them later so I can just, you know, write the outline without having to worry about it. It's very organized. Also, I've been running into a lot of plot holes in my book. I don't know, just, like, little things that don't quite make sense to me that I have to, like, maneuver around other big plot points that can't move. And, you know, plot holes are a big thing for me. Like, every time I start outlining a book, I always run into, like, a lot. And it's hard, like, I have to go in, like, one direction or the other. But both I really like and both I can't, I can't have both at the same time. So I have to kind of choose between them. That's happening a lot in her backstory, definitely. And, like, if her backstory goes one way, it can make, like, alternate realities uh, from what I'm intending the ending to be. If I go in a different direction, the ending couldn't be like that. So, uh, I'm having kind of trouble, like, organizing all my facts and thoughts about this book. And I'm kind of, like, hurrying because NaNoWriMo, well, I'm recording this, like, two days before November, but NaNoWriMo is, like, just about to start and when I uh, upload this NaNoWriMo will be starting. I'm a lot more stressed this year than I was last year, definitely. I have a big problem with organizing. I'm not a good organizer of my thoughts or my ideas, even when I have them all in one document. Um, I do have them all in one document, but I have like an outline tab where I can like go to each uh, section easily, so it's okay to have them all in one outline, uh, in one document. So I have like a uh, main outline, sub outline, like divergent plot um, plot device, and then like I have like facts and character names. Which also, the Overwatch uh, Halloween event happened in October, which was very annoying because I had to, you know, I had to work on my NaNoWriMo outline, but I had to get all the Overwatch skins because I'm obsessed with Overwatch. I actually had to buy the Mercy skin and the Symmetra skin because I didn't get them in the in loot boxes so I bought them and then went over to make videos instead of playing Overwatch so I'm very proud of that. Time wasters are really distracting for me too from writing. Uh, I'm trying to get better at that but like I have so many things that I want to do it's hard for me to just sit down and do one thing at a time. I need to practice like just focus on one thing at a time it would really help and that's why I'm excited for NaNoWriMo because it will force me to, for to, to focus on one thing um, that whole month and I probably won't play Overwatch that much during that month but I'll probably play a little bit I'm hoping that Sombra will come out in November so I might get distracted again from you know NaNo because of Sombra and you know I don't know. There are a lot of exciting things happening in November. I think I think Fantastic Beasts is also coming out in November. I just finished the Harry Potter books and I finished watching the movies and they are amazing. They're like my favorite series now. So now I have to I have to read the other books like uh, Fantastic Beasts. I don't know what the other ones are called, but I'm planning on reading them. I don't know my Kindle situation is a little bit weird right now, but hopefully I can figure that out because I really, really want to read them and watch Fantastic Beasts. 
I'm really, really, really excited for that. I'm also excited that like it looks like most of it's going to be in the U.S., so I'm really excited to see what the wizards in, U in the U.S. are going to be like, opposed to, you know, the ones in Europe, so... I think it's going to be really exciting. So there's a lot of things to distract me from NaNoWriMo this year, but I'm going to try to stay focused and you know, try to focus on my book because I really, really, really like the story idea. I really do. It's very interesting to me, at least, and it's very inspiring to me. So I'd like to finish it, and I don't want anything to distract me from it. So I'm going to be very serious, you know, serious about my... Um, about my story idea this year and hopefully I'll be able to write at least the first act. I don't, I'm not finishing the whole book in, in NaNo, but I'm hopefully, hopefully getting at least a little bit of the way there. I think that's all I have to update right now, but hopefully I'll be making another video like this soon. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you like this kind of content like story, movies, books, you know, you know, anything that has to do with story, uh, don't forget to subscribe for more. Uh, I upload every Sunday and Wednesday. Yeah, and thanks for watching. I'll see you later. Bye!